Yo, welcome to the channel. My name's DeSimler. In Black Ops 6, I found the tactical grenades to be extremely underwhelming, specifically the traditional tacticals, like the flashbang. So I wanted to break it down how the flashbang grenade actually works real quick and share some tips on how you can counter it without any perks or equipment or anything like that. I am working on a similar video for the concussion grenade, so if you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to first like the video and get subscribed so you don't miss part two. We're on the way to 50,000 subscribers and I am greatly looking forward to that. So you can help out, that'd be much appreciated. Now, the flashbangs, at first glance, uh, you know, the flashbang mechanic is pretty straightforward. If you get hit by it, you are blinded for a maximum of three seconds. There are no movement penalties. The only effect the flash has is that your screen is white or black if you decide to invert that setting. Now, the strength of the flash will vary based on your proximity to it. If you are turned 90 degrees to the right, you will get a small flash effect. Now, if I turn a little bit more to get that flash bang behind my ears, then there will be no effect. So in order to counter the flash grenade, all you have to do is look away or run in front of it and it will not affect you whatsoever. Now, if you're throwing the flash grenade yourself and this does happen, you do get a little flash bang icon to signify this happening on your screen. If the flashbang actually hits your target, if it lands within that 180 degree angle in front of your ears, you will get a normal hit marker and you will get some sort of flash effect. But keep in mind, there's no way to tell if the enemy has the full three second flash or the little mini half a second flash based on the hit marker. It's either you get a normal hit marker, which means there's some sort of flash effect going on, or you get the hit marker with the flashbang icon, which signifies your flash was completely countered. You also can opt for the tack mask perk in the perk one slot. This will cause flashes to have no effect whatsoever. It also will display the little icon to let you know if the flash was negated. Um, but again, it is pretty simple to just naturally counter flash grenades in Black Ops 6. More often than not, it feels like the flashes I throw and the concussions that I throw have no effect on my enemy whatsoever. That's because it has to land directly in front of them and like at their feet for it to have an effect. If you throw it like an 80 degree angle and you get a flash hit marker, they're going to be stunned for like half a second and there's no way for you to distinguish between, you know, a full three second flash and then a minimal flash. I like the counter icon it will show when you throw a flash behind an enemy or when an enemy has tack mask, but I wish there was some flash effectiveness meter for when you yourself are throwing a flashbang. It's also extremely easy to throw a flashbang behind an enemy or it's even easier for an enemy to run past your flash grenade or just turn the other way. They're just way too easy to counter in my opinion, at least in the current balance of the game. But I don't know. This is probably here to stay for a while. This mechanic was actually introduced last year in Modern Warfare 3, but I figure there's a lot of new and returning players to Black Ops 6 who have never experienced or even know that this mechanic exists. I'd also just think the flashes are weaker and or the like turning counter is just more effective in Black Ops 6. It just seems to be more of a problem in this game than in Modern Warfare 3. But uh, I don't know, hopefully this video helps out your gameplay somewhat. Uh, I would reconsider your tactical grenades if you are using flashbangs or concussion grenades. Spoiler, they're actually not that much better, if not worse than flashbang grenades. And again, that video on the concussions is in the works right now. You've watched the video all the way through. That means you're obligated to tap that like button. You obviously enjoyed it. Again, consider getting subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. My name is DeSimler. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.